What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to another Truck Tip Tuesday where I try to tell you guys a truck tip that hopefully you didn't know about on a Tuesday and I try to do it in under like two minutes. So here we go. This is for all my weight loss truck guys and this isn't like for you guys that are trying to lose some weight. This is for my guys who have diesel trucks who already lost a few pounds if you know what I mean. And guys that are running a switch on the fly shifter just like this right here. Now I run my shifter right below, right there, there you can see it. There's all five tunes, one, two, three, four, five, right below my steering wheel next to all the lighting configurations. Now this is something I just learned a couple thousand miles ago when I had some RevMax parts and RevMax work done to my transmission. So when I got my truck done, man, I used to fly through the tunes one after another, showing all my friends how fast the truck got. And then I even did a couple YouTube videos just ripping through all the tunes, doing a bunch of hard pulls and launches just to show you guys the difference between all the tunes and it wasn't until I took my truck to MDDP or Mark Decola Diesel Performance up in Butler PA where I learned that what I was doing was wrong and pretty harmful to the transmission itself so I had a billet valve body go in from RevMax a deep pan a thermal bypass all this fun stuff and then it wasn't until I was reading the instructions on how to properly break in your transmission where I realized that switch on the fly is bad so check this out in their instructions and i'll show you guys a clip of this the next issue is csp5 or any other changing of power levels on the fly which is including the switch on the fly so tf when switching power levels you must allow the transmission to slowly adapt to the increased power levels if the transmission is not given time to adapt to the new power levels you will damage the transmission in short order Simply give the transmission 30 miles after a tune reflash to adapt and stop and go city traffic driving before getting on it and you should be fine. What? Dude, I drove this truck for like 10,000 miles just ripping through tunes. So if you got the switch on the fly, please be careful with it. Change your tune. If there's a Honda that pulls up next to you, don't just throw it to five and get ripping on it or you're gonna be buying yourself a new trans. So. Now you know.